An independent panel appointed by the president is tonight telling NASA, no, you can't when it comes to a manned return to the moon by 2020. The panel found that unless NASA were to receive much more money, a moon mission is simply unrealistic. An s for a with our report. NASA doesn't have enough money for a lunar landing by 2020. That's one of the signals being sent out after a presidential panel reviewed the agency's human space program, a dark scenario for some scientists. Well, there is this perception, and it's not just in among the public, but also to some degree the science community, that the moon is sort of a been there, done that world. And I couldn't disagree more. The moon is a fascinating world. And in many ways, it's the key to understanding the solar system. So by studying the moon, one of the big reasons to go back and probe the moon is to tells you what the nature of the primordial Earth was like. Though NASA's current strategy is to return to the moon by 2020 and eventually to Mars, its budget to do this falls short by tens of billions of dollars. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. During the Apollo program, NASA's heyday, its budget was roughly 4% of federal spending. Today, it is less than 1% or $18 billion a year. For human spaceflight, you have uh, about half of that is for human spaceflight. Of that, you know, between three and six billion a year is for this new exploration program. So there's, there's a choice of prioritization that the administration has to make, and they've got to sync up the budget with, the, with their goals uh, so that, you know, everybody agrees on where we're going and how, how much it takes to get there. The committee outlined a series of options, one known as deep space strategy, manned missions to nearby asteroids, and even orbiting one of Mars's moons by about 2030. NASA's current shuttle fleet is scheduled to retire next year. The committee suggests extending the International Space Station lifespan and involving the private sector to develop the new fleet. And what's also off the option list? Well, landing on Mars as any kind of primary objective, the committee presented uh, the administration officials today with preliminary findings, and the final report will be released at the end of the month. Until the report is out, NASA won't comment on any of the options presented by the panel. There is literally nothing bright in NASA's future right now. $60 trillion in unfunded liabilities, $2 trillion in federal budget deficit. Uh, this is... You know, so when you think about the, the glories of that program, uh, the, the heroes that were the astronauts of the Apollo program. Uh, I, I mean, this is. And what a this fall does to, to the science community as well, scientists who really want to see this program go forward. All right. I mean, it, it, is, it is an American tragedy uh, to think where we've come in 40 years. Thank you very much. Appreciate it, Inez, for rain. Well,